everyone, welcome. My name is Jennifer Feek. I'm a sales representative and managing partner with Forest Hill Concept and the proud sponsor of Park Bench Downtown Milton. On today's episode, we have the pleasure of learning and getting to know Caitlin Patience. Caitlin is the program coordinator for Arts Milton. Thanks, Caitlin, for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So Arts Milton mission, if I understand, is to create a community within the arts. I was hoping you could tell us a little more about what this means. So what this means for us, Arts Milton mission, is to connect the community with the arts as well to connect the artists with the community. So in some instances, that means that we're bringing the community to our events and in other circumstances, we're bringing the artists to the community to facilitate activities. That sounds really interesting. Can you tell me about the role of Arts Milton within the town? Yeah, so Arts Milton, we act as sort of um, a representation and amalgamation of all the arts organizations in Milton in that, um, as I mentioned, we try to highlight what they do for the community. So some of the programs that we run include Crafting Culture, which is a new program. It happens in January, and essentially we have invited facilitators to um, present something from their culture, something that they make, create, or craft. So we had some culinary activities this past uh, winter, as well as some arts activities. And following that, we organize the Friendship Project, which is in its fourth year. And for that program, we connect newcomers to Canada and Milton with uh, community hosts from Milton. And together, they go out and attend free arts and culture activities together. And that might include uh, attending a show when they're open and available, or it might include doing body movement activities, arts activities, or local heritage activities. Um, so following that, we host Summer Days, which has seen a number of different iterations throughout the years. It started as a presentation of musicians and dancers at, uh, in the Town Hall, Victoria Park area. It's also been presented at the Farmer's Market in Milton, and we have musicians come and play and added an atmosphere and a vibe to the Farmer's Market, which was lovely. And then uh, this past summer in 2020, with the changes with COVID, we decided to start a curbside concert program as our summer days program. So we actually brought artists to different streets in Milton and we had them play sort of quick pop-up concerts and they traveled throughout the town for that evening. And we did that four weeks in a row. And so we'll be doing the same thing this year and we're looking for musicians in a wide variety of diversities. And we're also looking for people to host the concerts on their lawns or their driveways. And then our biggest program of the year is Milton Culture Days, which is part of the National Culture Days movement. Um, it's in its 11th year, I believe, or this year will be the 12th. And Arts Milton, uh, this will be the ninth year we're celebrating Milton Culture Days. And at Milton Culture Days, traditionally, we have done a hub location, which means that we have, I'm not joking, hundreds of artists and um, all kinds of different facilitators from the community come to the First Ontario Arts Centre Milton. And over a three-day weekend, community members can come in and for free try their hand at various arts and culture, including music, dance, theater, craft, science, technology, uh, literature, philosophy, it goes on and on. Every room, every space is filled with something to do or participate in or to um, get a glimpse behind the scenes. Now things are a little bit different uh, during COVID. So for a number of our programs, specifically the Friendship Project and Milton Culture Days, we've sort of transferred it to a virtual format. All of that sounds so incredible. To be honest, I've I've seen some of those events, but I actually didn't know that they tied back all to Arts Milton, even though I've been in the community for so long. So I guess, you know, I wonder if there's probably more people like me. So what do most people not know about Arts Milton then, do you think? I think that there is some confusion sometimes between Arts Milton and the town of Milton. And we work very closely with the town of Milton. We've played a role in the culture planning for Milton, which is happening right now. It's a very exciting moment for our city. Um, but Arts Milton is, um, as I mentioned before, we highlight so many different arts and culture organizations and small businesses in the, in the town. And I think that there are so many arts and culture organizations that Miltonians don't know about. Like the sheer amount of 
music and theater and arts people is just, it would blow your mind. And Milton Culture Days is an excellent uh, example on how to get to know these people. Yeah, I would agree, you know, definitely so many different things and it's great to know now uh, and hopefully some of our viewers on where they'll be able to go for a lot of that important information. So what do you think or where would you like um, Arts Milton to go in the future as an organization? Yeah, um, some of the, the strategic goals that we have, um, our friendship project, we really want to see that grow. You know, we'd like to garner local sponsorship or um, local or provincial funding for that program so that we can continue to plan it on a future basis. We want to grow the amount of newcomers and hosts that we're uh, having participate. We want to grow the amount of programs, the amount of facilitators we work with um, until, you know, everybody knows about it and it's just... Uh, arts and culture becomes, you know, just as important when you arrive as a newcomer in Milton. And we also would like to see the crafting culture program eventually in the future at some point turn into some sort of cultural festival. That's something that we've uh, talked about and envisioned for a long time, and we would love to be the hosts of something like that. All of those definitely sound promising, and hopefully once um, the COVID restrictions are lifted a little bit, we'll be able to see some of those evolve. So if any Miltonians would love to get involved either as a participant or a volunteer or in any other capacity, how might they be able to do that? That is a great question. So Miltonians can participate in a few different ways with Arts Milton. Um, if you are, um, if you fall into any of the categories I've talked about, so art, dance, music, heritage, culture, you get the, the picture. Um, we'd love to have you be a member of Arts Milton, which is a no cost commitment. Um, you can sign up for our e-newsletter. And what that means is that you're going to get first, um, first call outs for all of our programs. So first opportunities to participate with us. And uh, you can also participate as a volunteer. For a number of our programs, we require volunteers, specifically Milton Culture Days. And you can come and be a part of that event and um, get to know the artist facilitators on the community at the same time in a very exciting atmosphere. Um, and oh, for the Friendship Project, we're always looking for community host families. So it's a really great opportunity if you want to participate with your family in the Friendship Project, you can sign up and there's a minimum of five events. And yeah, you get to try arts and culture and meet newcomer families. It's really, really fun. And to sign up, we just go to your website? Yeah, artsmilton.com, or you can always email us at info at artsmilton.com with any questions you might have, or to just let us know that you wanna be a part of what we're doing. So from what I understand, you're a local Miltonian. Is that true? Yeah, I grew up in Milton. I was born in Etobicoke, but I've lived here from age three to age uh, 17. I went away to university for um, just under a decade, and then I came back when I was about 28, and we've started our family here. So we have two boys, and uh, we live in Milton, and we're happy to be here. So do you have uh, something about the community that you love? Um, my favorite part of Milton, aside from the conservation areas, is all of the the family-friendly uh, amenities, so all of the parks and trails within our community. I feel like we are so lucky to live here, and I, I've um, taken up biking sort of obsessively as of late, and I just love to ride around town and explore all areas of Milton, from the places where I grew up to the newest corners. Yes, we definitely really are fortunate to be in the middle of all of that and have it all kind of at our fingertips there. That's definitely one of the, the bonuses of our community for sure. I mean, I definitely love the community feel and everybody here uh, supports each other, which is always wonderful. Well, Caitlin, thanks so much for taking the time to share your thoughts with me today and all the important information about Arts Milton and the programs that they run. I definitely know I've learned a lot from you today. So Milton, be sure to check out Arts Milton on social media at Arts Milton on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Jennifer Feek from Forest Hill Concept and proud sponsor of Park Bench Downtown Milton. Be sure to check out our community website at the address below parkbench.com backslash downtown dash Milton. And if you have a business or a nonprofit organization and would like to be featured, please reach out to us today. Take care, everyone. Until next time.